I hate not having a man sometimes for real because why am I taking my car to the shop to get my tire repaired? I feel like my man should be doing that for me. But no. I have to be the man and do it myself. I hate it. I hate it here. Well, in the words of the great Ric Flair, I'm just going to leave you with this. But to be the man, you got to beat the man. And I'm saying, woo, right here. I genuinely believe that women without instruction are headed for destruction. What do I mean by this? I think women need masculine leadership. Because I think if you don't have masculine leadership, whether it's a father, a brother, or a strong boyfriend or husband, you're going to lead yourself to make really bad mistakes that will f*** you up. Whether you do drugs, drink a lot, whatever. The thing with women is like, when you guys get baggage, you kind of carry it with you for a long time, right? I'm sure all of you guys have that one girlfriend in your group that's a that has all this drama, all this trauma, and she can't really find meaningful relationships with men. She has problems, yep. right? All of you girls probably know a girl like that. So with women, I think you need to protect them from themselves and you need a strong masculine leader. And I think that's why women look for guys that are competent, yep. make more money, and can lead them. So I think the only way a guy's gonna do that is he needs to be older and more competent than her. A lot of the times, man needs to be significantly older to be in that position. This is a fact, and what Myron said is true. This is why I'm a big proponent on men that are older, that have their stuff together, have that masculine frame, and can actually lead a woman to deal with younger women because they're more impressionable, easier to deal with, and better for your mental health. And a lot of older women get very, very upset. They get steamed because they don't have that healthy uh, you know, dose of masculinity. They don't have a healthy respect for it whatsoever, and they're just upset. So they call those women pick-me's and pick-me's, and you're desperate, but they're just dodge-me's that nobody really wants. So it doesn't matter what they say the thing is if you have the options and you have the monopoly on dating why not take advantage of it and get you a younger badder chick and it's another threat to those old chicks that are you know smacking into the wall every single day it's because the adage is a woman turns 21 every single day while these women continue to smack into the wall get you a younger chick if you want to would you rather go buy me an engagement ring right now or decimate everyone in that restaurant i could just go down to a pawn shop and buy a fake ring so yeah that works for me so you want to give me a fake ring if it involves getting out of killing people yes so is there a reason that you don't want to propose to me because we've just gone on our first date oh and what's the what's the problem Any of you watching this, if you don't see the problem either, I'm very concerned about you. Oh, oh, so now you're gonna turn my audience against me? I can tell you one thing for sure, that poor man is going home and deleting Bumble. That is the last Bumble date he will ever be on. Hey, yo, son, these females nowadays, they crazy, bro. What the hell did I just watch? What did you guys just watch? What the hell's going on? What the hell she's talking about? Engagement ring and often people. Bro, they let these people out the psych ward and they let them on dating apps. This dude, she's right. This dude ain't never going back on Bumble. What the hell, bro? Three words, my brother, after this. Three words. Get your passport. American men are really moving away from American women because American women are quite honestly taking the piss when it comes to dating. What they're doing is they're using online dating as free lunch, free dinner, and they have some serious men on the go at the same time. American women have got this culture going on of independence. So let, yeah, I can have 10 men on the go. Who cares? Because they're doing it to me. And actually you'll find that American men are more loyal than American women. So American men are going across borders and searching for European women because honestly I think their morals are better, especially Eastern European girls. They have really good morals. They will stick to one guy and the guy can get away with a lot as well as long as they're provided for and looked after. You damn right. I see why guys are going overseas. After that last clip, Dude, there's no way in hell guys are not going to get spooked. And there's so many reasons why guys are going overseas. And that crazy nut in the last, last clip is the reason why. But this woman, she's absolutely on point. Ridiculous. This is why guys go to Eastern Europe like she just said.
They go to places like Romania. They go to places like Bosnia. They go to places all over there in that area because those women have better morals. And like she said, it's true. If you're taking care of everything and you're the man and she respects you, get pretty much probably get multiple chicks, you know, probably get away with cheating a couple times because they understand that over there. Bro, like it's the advantage times 10. Why date in the States? Why take these women serious and why take them on a date? She's on point. She sees what's going on. It's a movement. This is an unpopular opinion, but I just have to get this off my chest. Nice guys finish last is a myth. And I'm talking to grown adults here, okay? If you're not grown, keep scrolling. I'm gonna hold your hand when I say this. In the long run, nice guys are the ones who know how to maintain long-term relationships. Why? They understand the value of compromise, communication, and commitment. First of all, not every woman goes for looks. There's a lot of women and women that are in happy relationships with guys who are two or three looks wise, but I promise you the personality is a freaking 10. And these guys treat these girls like they're queens, okay? They may be a two looks wise, two, three looks wise, but their personality is a 10 because they understand that empathy, trust, and kindness are the foundation of their relationship. And again, this is why I said I'm talking to grown adults because if you are a man and you are currently dating a woman who isn't emotionally healed, who has some emotional unavailability, she is not going to pick you. You will not finish last. Nice guys finish strong because they build a relationship on trust and respect. They don't play games. They don't manipulate. They are straightforward and genuine. And let me tell you something. A grown woman who has done the work to heal understands and knows the value of kindness. Wow. The crap that I hear modern women say on the daily. Wow. I started losing my mind. The thing that she's not telling you is that she thinks and believes that nice guys finish last is bull crap because she's already used up. Nice guys are the guys that are the second choice. And that's the thing. It's typically when women start running out of value. Then they want to start praising this nice guy because they're looking for a nice guy because all the bad boys have completely ran through them. So that's the thing. That's why I was cracking up and laughing. I'm sorry, but <laughs> like these women be making no sense, bro. And they be talking all of this nonsense like dudes are not just sitting back like, come on, bro. Like we get it. The reason why you're saying this is because women like you that are at the end of your rope need these secondary crash out guys that are like oh my god i'll be with you baby i'll do anything you want guys have been sitting in the pocket sitting in the friend zone forever so those guys supposedly they can do all these things but <laughs> last choice <laughs> why are you single or why Damn, are you 35 you with no kids with no kids that's a red flag that's for a red me. flag sorry i'm not gonna no lie kids, red flag. If you was okay, with somebody cool. for five years you have no kids like incorrect ma'am that's the thing women they internalize everything and they bring everything back to themselves they cannot take themselves out of their own two shoes you at 35 is a red flag because we know you at 35 is geriatric pregnancy you risk your own life trying to give a child or give birth when you have no eggs and that's the thing women can't think or fathom for one second men we can slang this candy muscle shout out to Satan in the center until we're old and gray and that's the thing and we're always fertile for the most part so women envy when men don't get into this circus called you know family court and get completely ruined or locked down by the government the man you know what i'm saying that's in control and the government becomes those women's daddy along with the child and you're not bounded and confined to that they're like something's wrong with him it's got to be a red flag it's like no i can wait you can't wait that's the problem that's why women always try to say this dumb stuff nowadays it does not apply to us because we are not females okay so i made a video about how i caught my ex cheating and um he was uh i did not take him back no because that would be crazy to take him back after like the embarrassment i went through but um well he was stalking me and turns out that he wants to be forgiven and this is what he got me so he was so i was driving and i guess he saw me and uh, he knows where i live and uh he parked right next to me, got out the car, and like walked to the car. And I wasn't gonna drive off and be like day room, but he gave me the cat and he said that he was sorry. Now you're probably wondering, oh, you have the cat, so you took him back. Absolutely not. I took the cat and I drove off as fast as I could. But meet my new pet. Oh my goodness. Well, this is my new cat. Um, would you guys like to come with me to buy his her bed? her food, and all her stuff. Yo, <laughs> that guy, her ex, he said and did so many things 
He did multiple things and she has no idea. First of all, he won the exchange and he doesn't even know it. Number two, he gave her a cat <laughs> and he played it off. The thing is, he gave her a cat and that's the symbolism of she's going to be a cat lady in the future. <laughs> Yo, and she's going to get tired of the cat. Now she has responsibility. So he gave her a cat. He thinks she's going to be a cat lady. He supposedly apologized for cheating. She probably took him back. And the funny part is he's going to just come back to smash. So she's like, he's stalking me. No, he's just trying to smash and dash and do the same thing. I play the same game too. <laughs> that nigga is five steps ahead of her and she don't even know it. If one of us eat, then we all ball. Sip colliders out in Cancun. Please stop praying for my downfall. And it coming no time soon. From the concrete, a little bitty rose grew.